I just had a few other things to touch on. The first is our perceptions of distance. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do you know this one? No. All right. Basically, if you live in the UK, a drive of an hour or longer is a long drive. If someone lives two hours away from you, you're going to see them once a year or something. In California, a drive of an hour is basically the minimum. That you're always driving at least an hour to go anywhere. A drive of two to four hours is your idea of fun to get out of the city on a weekend. And every couple of weekends, you may well be driving two to four hours to somewhere to go hiking or whatever. It's a very normal thing to drive that distance. Where in the, whereas in the UK, because it's just much smaller, the perceived sort of cost of driving these distances is very different. And I think it's nuts. So last weekend, I drove to Oxford to meet up with some friends. And how long was the drive? Like less than an hour and a half or something. And in my head, that was like, oh man, I have to drive all the way to Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> Woe is me. Woe is me kind of thing. But it was sick. I listened to an audiobook. I, I basically finished almost a, a whole audiobook in the car. It was like really good reflection time for me because I don't have a commute these days. And so like it was sort of alone time sitting in a car just like thinking about stuff. The thing is that when, we, when we're doing the calculus in our head of like, should I tra travel this distance? We tend to see the driving time as like a purely, as a pure cost. It's like, mm -hmm. oh man, that's three hours of my life. I'm not going to get back. It's actually a gain. It's like, you know, with audiobooks and podcasts or whatever, Worst case scenario is you'll be you know, listening to something cool and interesting and then just time for reflection or whatever, right? And so I am uh, I'm going to make an effort to do more of these trips.